This is the fifth video in the series titled, Scientists Are Stupid. Scientists are stupid. Scientists will either overlook, they will refuse to accept, or they will refuse to even consider the most obvious and common sense things. Many scientists feel they should not bother talking to anyone who is not a scientist, nor should they bother considering any idea that does not originate with a scientist. Everyone has the right to do what they want. If scientists want to be stupid, that is their choice to make. Except for one problem. The job of the scientist is the public good. According to the creator of this video, the stupidity of scientists is so great that it poses a danger to the public good. This series of videos is dedicated to correcting the stupidity that scientists have told the public to believe. Hopefully, the embarrassment scientists might feel at their stupidity being corrected in front of the entire world will motivate them to open their minds and perhaps motivate them to be more willing to listen to people and ideas they would normally refuse to listen to. With that introduction, the subject of this video can begin. The subject of this video is the act of yawning. A scientific kind of definition for yawning would be the act of yawning is when a human being inhales while simultaneously stretching their eardrums, followed by an exhale. What most people call a yawn, which includes stretching the body as well as inhaling, is called pandiculation. This video will use the common word yawn instead of pandiculation to refer to inhaling and stretching the body at the same time. Western scientists do not know what causes yawning, although they have many theories about what causes yawning. One of the more well-known theories for the cause of yawning is that yawning is caused by the body not having enough oxygen. Yawning is commonly thought to help bring in more oxygen. In reality, yawning actually brings in less oxygen to the body than normal breathing does. There are many other less well-known theories about the cause of yawning. A few of these less well-known theories include Yawning cools the brain. Yawning is a sign of tiredness. Yawning is a sign of boredom. Yawning is a sign of apathy. And yawning is a sign of psychological decompression after a state of high alert. The cause of yawning is very simple and obvious. A human being yawns to stretch the internal part of their body. What is the internal part of the body? The internal part of the body would be all of the internal organs, the blood vessels, the membranes, and all of the other organic material that is located inside of the torso of a human being. According to the creator of this video, each individual part of the body is designed to operate under a certain amount of tension or flexibility. This certain amount of tension or flexibility that the various internal parts of the body operate under facilitates the smooth and uninterrupted flow of fluids and forces within the internal part of the body. The internal part of the body can become what is commonly called blocked. A scientific definition for the common term blocked would be the tension or flexibility in some area of the body moves outside of the proper range of values it was designed to operate under, which interferes with the proper flow of fluids and forces through the affected part of the body. A simple way to describe what the common term blocked means is to say that the blocked part of the body has become tense or harder than it normally is. The hardening of any area of the internal part of the body would of course cause some change in the normal flow of fluids and forces in the hardened area. A proper amount of fluid and force flow is necessary to keep the internal organs healthy and to keep the brain awake and alert. Tension or blockage in any part of the internal part of the body can interfere with the proper flow of fluids and forces through the blocked area so much that the proper function of the brain, the internal organs, or any other part of the internal part of the body can become so degraded that the body will instinctively act to return itself to a proper state of health. According to the creator of this video, yawning is the instinctive method the body uses to dissolve tension and blockages in the internal part of the body. According to the creator of this video, 
Yawning dissolves tension and blockages in the internal part of the body by modulating and focusing the pressure that is applied to the internal part of the body by the lungs during the act of breathing. When a human being inhales, the pressure in the lungs will go up as more air fills the lungs. When a human being exhales, the pressure in the lungs will go down as the amount of air in the lungs decreases. The pressure caused by the air in the lungs is passed through the lungs into the rest of the internal part of the body. That would mean that the pressure in the internal part of the body would vary as the pressure in the lungs varied during breathing. The constant pulsing of pressure in the internal part of the body caused by the constantly alternating higher and lower air pressure in the lungs during the breathing process acts like a massage on the internal part of the body. A masseuse makes tense muscles relax by alternately applying high pressure to a muscle then releasing the muscle which allows it to return to a state of lower pressure or pulsing the pressure experienced by the tense muscle. The internal part of the body is receiving the same kind of pressure pulsing from the changes in pressure the lung undergoes during the act of breathing. It would be natural to wonder if the purpose of yawning is to dissolve tension and blockages in the internal part of the body why doesn't normal breathing remove tension and blockages in the internal part of the body? Normal breathing and yawning both cause alternating high and low air pressure in the lungs. The answer to that question is that normal breathing does work to dissolve tension and blockages in the internal part of the body. According to the creator of this video, air pressure massage of the internal part of the human body during the normal breathing process was one of the design goals of the breathing mechanism for the human body. It would then be natural to wonder if normal breathing caused air pressure massage of the internal part of the body dissolves tension and blockages in the internal part of the body, why is yawning caused air pressure massage of the internal part of the body necessary? Or phrased a different way, how is yawning caused air pressure massage of the internal part of the body different from normal breathing caused air pressure massage of the internal part of the body. According to the creator of this video, the process of yawning is more effective at dissolving tension and blockages in the internal part of the body because of the stretching of other parts of the body that accompanies yawning. When a human being yawns, the mouth will usually stretch also. The stretching of the mouth extends down into the throat and into the internal part of the body where it works in concert with the air pressure changes in the lungs to more effectively dissolve tension and blockages in the internal part of the body than normal breathing with no stretching of the body does. Other parts of the body will also usually stretch during the yawning process. According to the creator of this video, the stretching performed by these other parts of the body during the yawning process make yawning more efficient at dissolving tension and blockages in the internal part of the body by changing the distribution of forces within the body and by changing the shape of the body cavity containing the internal part of the body. A living human body is filled with forces created by the process of living. These forces apply some amount of pressure to the entire human body. According to the creator of this video, the body stretching that occurs during yawning changes the distribution of pressure caused by forces within the body in such a way that the pressure caused by those forces will assist the air pressure in the lungs in dissolving tension or blockages in the internal part of the body. Another purpose of the body stretching that takes place during yawning is to change the shape of the body cavity containing the internal part of the body. By changing the shape of the body cavity containing the internal part of the body, the amount of pressure that is applied to some specific area of the internal part of the body can be manipulated. According to the creator of this video, the body stretching caused changing of the shape of the body cavity containing the internal part of the body, and the body stretching caused alteration of the distribution of forces within the internal part of the body that takes place during the yawning process make yawning more efficient at removing tension and blockages from the internal part of the body than normal breathing alone. As the title of this video says, scientists are stupid. They don't even know why human beings yawn.